Wow, 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 wow. Love y'all, first of all. I appreciate y'all. I'm grateful for you. Thanksgiving just passed, but you guys got me inspired. You guys got me fired up. You guys got me excited to drop nuggets tonight, to put my all in for you guys tonight. And I want to tell you firsthand, this call tonight is not about me, okay? And if you guys can all hear me, I mean, I'm guessing you guys can all hear me. Uh, this call is not about me. This call is about you. This call is about getting to your breakthrough. This call is about transitioning from 2019 to 2020 and being prepared, having skill set and having strategy to take yourself to the next level, to take your life to the next level, to take your business to the next level. Okay. I want you guys to look right now. I'm going to give some gratitude because I'm truly grateful for you guys. Not just, I don't give gratitude just on Thanksgiving. I give gratitude every single day. Successful people give gratitude every single day. Um, so I want to tell you, there's a lot to be grateful for right now. Okay. There's a lot to be grateful for company-wide. Obviously the people around you in your life, give your gratitude to them. Give your gratitude to the supporters and give your gratitude to the people that hate, the people that talk crap, the people that, that don't want you to win. I'm telling you, it's going to pay off. But first and foremost, I want to give my gratitude, all right, to, to Kyle, to Brandon, the executives of I Am Master Academy, to Chris Terry, all right, to, um, to Alex Morin, I mean, obviously, to Ivan Tapia, to the entire team, the executive team, the leadership team, David Emonitier. I could give my gratitude, Brandon Boyd. There's so many people to be grateful for that brings so much value into I Am Master Academy and are helping it level up to hit that billion dollar company. And for those of you guys who are new to I Am Master Academy, I truly believe we're in the best position for success, not only for the company and the leaders that have already come before you, but for you, but for you. I wanna tell you, it's your turn. Okay, you gotta say to yourself right now, it's my turn. It's my turn. It's my turn to get what's mine. And on the journey to getting what's mine, I'm gonna need to help a lot of other people get what's theirs. I'm gonna need to help a lot of other people get what they deserve. Not just get what they want, but truly get what they deserve. So we're grateful for, again, all the executive team. I'm grateful for all of you guys jumping on here. Let's raise your level of skill set. Let's raise your strategy tonight. Let's raise your frequency. Let's raise, you know, your ability to operate as a true entrepreneur. Okay. I don't want you being a wannapreneur. I don't want you being a sometimes preneur. I don't want you being a, let me see if this works preneur. I want you to be an all in entrepreneur doing whatever it takes. At the end of this call, I'm actually going to drop my video. It's, I know he's ever seen it. I just got it created. It's a video kind of of my story and what I've gone through. Some of you guys know my story. I'm not going to go into it right now until the end. You can kind of see visually what I've gone through. But I want to let you guys know that if, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Just as you're taking notes and as we're going through this, this chairman mentorship call, if I can do it, you can absolutely see all the success that you want in the world as an investor and as a chairman, as an affiliate marketer, you guys can see massive abundance. This industry, network marketing, entrepreneurship has allowed me, I'm not here to brag, I'm here to tell you guys what really putting your head down and really learning the skills that can do. It's allowed me to financially free my parents. It's allowed me to invest in multifamily real estate. It's allowed me to invest in, in other assets and apps and different things out there. It's allowed me to create freedom at an age that most people would say that's too good to be true. How are you financially independent at this age? Because in the last nine years, I was preparing. I was putting in the work, but a lot of people do not know that story. All right, so I wanna tell you guys, it's worth it, okay? It's absolutely worth the time, the energy, the sacrifices, the failures, entrepreneurship's not going to be easy, but it will be worth it. Getting to events sometimes is not easy, 
but it is worth it. Learning the skill set of trading and investing is not easy, but it will be worth it. Becoming chairman is not easy, but it will be worth it. Okay. So I want you guys to make that commitment, not, not to myself, not to me, but to you, to your family, to your legacy. I want you to make that commitment. I want you to write down on a paper. Think about it. people sign contracts to commit to something, to commit to relationships or marriages, to commit to, you know, owning a house, to commit to owning something, going all in. I want you guys, if you want to take it to the next level, print something out your commitment form, all right, write up a commitment form of the next 12 months, 24 months, 36 months. If you have goals in your head, I want, I challenge you guys after this call over the next 24 hours to print out a commitment form and sign it. Even with your mentor present, even with somebody that's going to hold you accountable present, present and say, I commit to learning this skill set over the next 20, uh, 24 months, the next two years. Commit to that, okay? Took my life, to, my life to the next level, all right? And I want to tell you guys something as well. As I am Master Academy levels up, level up with it. As I am Master Academy levels up, I want you all to level up with it, all right? So I'm going to go into the information. Let me bring up the PowerPoint real quick. Okay, let's get it, guys. Drop drop a one 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 if you're excited about strategy for the seven figure entrepreneur. The seven figure entrepreneur. Okay, you know, let me guys know one 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 if you're excited to unlock your next level. All right, your next level. If you guys are excited to level up, I'm excited for you guys. If you're not excited for yourself, I'm excited for you guys because I know what it can do. I know what it can do. Okay, eight again, 18 years old to, to now, the last eight and a half, nine years, been busting my butt, busting my butt, busting my butt. And I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, dang, it's all worth it. I'm planning a Christmas trip with my parents, and I'm like, got them a house in Colorado. I'm like, man, it's all worth it. It's all worth the sacrifice. It's all worth the grind. Okay, but I want to help you guys again become a seven figure entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur, an entrepreneur that gives value, an entrepreneur that truly understands what the journey is going to take. All right. So understand strategy will help you stay in business when times get tough and dominate business when things start taking off. Okay. So you can screenshot that, note that down. It's something that I've lived by, you know, really in my last nine years, especially at 18 years old, when I started the industry, I need to have strategy because my age was against me. People were like, oh, you don't have enough experience, Julian. Oh, you haven't done enough in business. Oh, you haven't be, be, you know, been a successful entrepreneur. Yeah, what business have you started? I'm like, I'm going to learn strategy that people are not going to be able to question my credibility. I'm going to learn strategy so people can't question my credibility. I'm going to have a strategy in place. And then obviously dominate. I'm going to learn these strategies so I can dominate when business starts taking off. <clears throat> okay. So I want you guys to build like the Romans. All right. First and foremost, build like the Romans. Now, most of you guys maybe haven't been to Greece, but I went to Athens, Greece, and I saw these structures standing in front of me. And I was like, wow, how are these structures still there after almost 2000 years? All right. They're still intact. And millions of people come every year to see these structures. All right. So just like the Romans built, you know, these, these, these uh, Colosseums, all right, in Greece, all right, when it comes to building your business, all right, there's many members, unfortunately, that build for the short term, all right, most business, most people, and I'm telling you, I was just like this when I first started, most people look at making a couple thousand bucks or getting rich, that quote unquote, get rich scheme. They can come in, make some money. They don't make some money right away. Then they're out. They're not building, you know, the Coliseum anymore. They're not building that, that, that building that's going to stand a test of time. Right. So instead, right. Of thinking short term, come into this business. All right thinking that this is something that you're building to last years and years and years and years to come. I'm going to tell you guys something that I learned eight years ago about network marketing and building 
an online business and a business that you can will down from generation to generation. If you build this, okay, if you build this, you can, you can pass this on. If you build a share 100 income, guess what? Chris Terry's not going anywhere. He's only adding more value and making this stronger. You can pass this on. So do you want to think, get rich quick? Do you want to think, you know, let me just try this out, dip my foot in, see if trading works, see if being a chairman works. It works. <clears throat> Trust me, it works. There's testimonial after testimonial after testimonial. It's just, a, it's just a matter of, are you going to build your legacy as a trader? Are you going to build your legacy as an investor, as an entrepreneur, as a chairman? Are you going to build your foundation strong? Or are you going to build it off of, let me try this out. Let me see if this will work. Let me go half in. Let me work this business sometimes. Okay, so focus on building a business with a legacy. All right, and I, I guarantee if you focus and your energy is putting out there to the universe and the people you talk to that you're building a legacy, watch what happens with the amount of customers that attract to your business and say, listen, I can't not do what he's doing. I need, I need to do what that person is doing. When I first started talking about my business eight years ago, my first, you know, uh, network marketing company, I was telling everybody, the thing is, I wasn't skilled. I didn't know the presentation that well. Wasn't that great at inviting. Didn't have a lot of the skill sets, but people resonated with my passion of what I was building, the vision that I had. I dropped out of public speaking. I couldn't even speak to people that well. I didn't have... You know, I wasn't a literature, you know, writer, genius, you know, I, mathematician. I, I dropped out of school. Actually, not dropped out, got kicked out of college. People wouldn't want to listen to me because of my credibility. But what I did speak on with vision and passion was my business and where I was going. Okay, so build like the Romans. Now, again, this is strategy first and then skill sets. I'm going to go over some strategy first and then skill sets that are going to help you become a successful entrepreneur. So I want you guys to solve problems. The mo most of the time, the issue in this industry is people are trying to solve their own problems and other people feel it. I'm trying to solve my own problems. I'm, you know, not doing too well financially. I need to pay my bills. I need to pay my car note. I need to do this. I need to fund my trading account, blah, 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 blah. Guess what? People know that you are trying to solve your own problems. People can feel it. It's a hard thing to mask. When I got in network marketing, I was $20,000 in debt. <coughs> Excuse me, God, I just got over a, uh, a cold, so recovering. But anyways, I was $20,000 in debt and I had to mask my financial situation so much. I had to let people know and, and, and smile and talk with positivity and vision because I knew if I showed people that I was thirsty for a customer, thirsty for a sign up, thirsty for a recruit, they were not going to join my business. Yes, I was trying to solve my problem, but what I needed to do and what I ended up doing was going around and looking for the solution to other people's problems. And then in return, my problem would be solved. Okay. If I solved enough people's problems, my problem would eventually be solved. So the problem guys does not need to be complicated. There's people who walk around with problems every single day, every single day. Okay. So help people plug into a world-class trading education system. All right. You're creating a solution. Okay. A solution, help people learn and grow their mindset and finances. Who doesn't want to be a part of something bigger than themselves? Who does not want to learn and grow their mindset and their finances? Everybody does. Okay. Help people have financial increase. Who wants to get, you know, have their net worth go down? Nobody. Who wants to, you know, go into debt, go into more debt? Nobody. How can you solve their pro problem with our system, with our platform? All right. Help people learn a skill set that nobody can take away from them. Think about it. Professors. The, the, the boss at my job took away my job in the matter of, you know, 30 seconds. He said, Julian, you're fired. The door is right there, my brother. He didn't, say my, he didn't say my brother, but he said, kid, the door is right there. Get out. We're replacing you. Okay? So, you know, as, as I started to go, go in on entrepreneurship and go hard with entrepreneurship, I was like, man, 
nobody can take this skill set away from me. When I read this book, Money Mastery, I'll go over that in a little bit, but nobody can take that skill set away from me. Okay? When I go through, go live and I hop on and I go on the Saldo session or Oren, I was on Oren's session earlier, or Daniel Lopez, Evan Cabral, Nick Gomez, Learn Crypto. You know, I can name all the other traders. No one can take that skill set away from you once you learn it. Okay? When you learn how to be an entrepreneur, learn how to sell. No one can take that away from you. You have relationship problems, learn how to sell better. If you want to find a spouse or a girlfriend or boyfriend, if you, if you don't have, if you're, not, if you're not getting it, you know, sell better. Learn how to sell. If you're not getting any recruits in your business, learn how to sell. No one can take away selling from you. No one can take away marketing. No one can take away the skill sets that we teach in IEM Mastery Academy. No one can take, take away the skill set that, that you're going to learn. Okay. And ultimately this is powerful because most people don't understand this, but we're creating a solution. We're putting the power back in people's hands. You're putting the power back in people's hands. You're saying, listen, you trusted banks your entire life. I'm not saying you're not, not going to trust the bank now or whatever, but at the end of the day, you've got your little money from your savings account. You've trusted uh, 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 banks, other people with your finances. Put the power back in your hands and build your wealth. What the banks do, do what the banks do. Trade the markets, learn the markets, compound your income. I'm learning more and more about real estate right now and different mutual and different funds and real estate funds and all these different funds. And people are really taking our money in banks or in even CDs or little savings accounts or whatever. And they're putting it to work and they're making stupid money. Guys, if, if that doesn't fire you up, if that doesn't get you pissed off for greatness, I don't know what will. Think about somebody taking your income, taking your friend's income, taking your parents' income, taking your grandparents' income, sitting in accounts, and they're putting it to work in the world's largest markets, and they're making millions, tens of millions, hundreds of millions. My question to you is, what are you making from that? What are the people making from that? That's a problem. So what do we have? We have the solution. We have the financial solution to people's problems. Okay, so start to embed that in your body. Start to embed that in your energy level. Start to embed that in the way that you move and you operate every single day. Okay, so start with a narrow focus first. I know I am Mastery Academy. It can be a little bit overwhelming maybe. There's products here, products there, educators, training, chairman training. You can build, you can trade. What I want to tell you is dumb it down. Think about this. Amazon didn't start with an everything store, all right? It started and developed uh, with a focus, all right? Business is typically developed with a focus, all right? So first and foremost, and I know most of you guys might have done this already, but reestablish your why. Focus on developing a strong why, why you are doing this business. For me, it was my parents. When, the, when, I, when I started making money, I was like, okay, money is not my main focus anymore. Because at first that was my why, but I was like, man, why is like seeing my parents happy, talking to them on the phone, knowing that they're good, knowing that I can go see them when I want, help them with finances. I, I, I can have freedom. Ultimately, it was financial freedom, right? And also be able to give back freely, time and money, all right? So focus on recruiting and plugging people into a system. At first, you might not be great at presenting or training or you know learning all the products right but what, what i want to tell you is something that you can do is recruit when i first started network marketing i was a recruiting machine but i would just simply recruit to calls simply recruit to record a call simply recruit to zoom calls simply get butts in the seats in front of my mentor at a starbucks as much as i could every week my mentor said julian if you're willing to put people in this seat and truly show that you're showing me that you're bringing people to, to, to the information, I will be there for you to, to close them. I was recruiting people. Okay. I didn't, again, know everything, but I knew I could do that. And then once they got started, I was plugging people into a system. I was like, listen, we have events here, events there, get around these people. These people are successful. I'm not quite successful yet, but guess what? We have the system to help you plug in with successful traders and successful entrepreneurs that are 
that have the results that most people want, that have the results most people want, okay? So focus on a product or two and learn them. Now, I know we have a lot of products, but a strategy that we use, especially like I have a Latin America market and Europe market, US market, you know, all over the world, but a market like Latin America might hop on HFX, high frequency Forex, okay? And then there, there, there's, there's gold cup, there's levels, there's pivots, there's harmonic scanner. So obviously we push for the elite pack and we make sure people are fully plugged in, going all in. But I tell people, hey, listen, how long did it take you to go to college? Two years, four years? Typically it's four years for a degree, maybe two if you're getting a smaller degree, all right? Um, to get your diploma, four years. So think about every four years, Every, every uh, uh, year you have, you know, 10 classes or whatever it is. I, I forgot how many classes you have, but you have a lot of classes per year. But imagine every two or three months, you're learning two new products or every two months you're learning two new products. So ultimately, you're learning these products. You're not getting overwhelmed, but you're plugging into go live. You're learning the strategy. You're learning how it works. You're, you're taking trades and you're learning by experience. For me personally, I was not going to ever learn real estate. Okay. I'm learning all the, all the details of real estate right now. My, my first 10 unit property, but understand for me, I needed to learn by actually doing, it, by actually using that product, by seeing how the, how the real estate market works, by buying that property, by seeing how financing works, by doing it myself. So with a product, you're going to need to plug in and learn exactly how it works so you can actually apply the information the right way. So I want you guys to learn the product, but don't get overwhelmed. Focus on one or two products, create your testimonial, plug into Pip Talk, see what products are working well, see what products are booming, see the testimonial, see the results on the, on the group pages, and then at, over time, adjust your strategy. This is not again, a get rich quick thing, give it time, give your success time. Overnight success is typically 10 years in the making. It can happen faster, but overnight success takes time. Overnight success takes time. Okay. After this, after this call, in the next 24 hours, I want you guys to focus on something, write this down, focus on one event, one call and get your ticket for one major event. You can get to London or another major event in the future, but London's going to be crazy. Probably, well, actually, yeah, well over 10,000 people in London. It's going to be insane. It's going to be an experience, right? But understand, one event, one call, one major event, just do one thing. You need to follow up with that prospect, call that prospect, do that one call. You need to, you know, recruit that one person. You need to make that one, that one call of action on social media. Do that one thing and create momentum. A lot of people want to look at all the big, the bigger things to do. Oh, I, I need to get 100 people in the room. I need to get 50 people to a meeting. I need to do the big things, have the big events. No, just do one thing. Just read one chapter. People are so bad at just doing one thing. They get, they get focused. I have to do a call. Oh, I, I got a text message from my girlfriend. I got a text message from my boyfriend. I got, I got a text message. I got a YouTube video to watch. I got an email notification. I have distracted with this, distracted with that, right? And I actually want to give a quick shout out to Dwayne Lodge. All right. He said, every, he's like, we're ready for you tonight, bro. He's making that commitment. All right. Dwayne Lodge. He's a great guy. You, you're going to have massive, 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 massive success. Chairman 100. It's done. 2020, it's done, my brother, because you're getting everybody on these calls every Sunday, every Sunday, committed, all right? Like I was saying, do, do one thing, do one thing, and watch what happens when you do one thing over and 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 over again, okay? It leads to doing the bigger things, okay? Focus on team morale. Focus on team morale. Now, understand, I don't care if you have a big team, hundreds of people, a few people, you're not even P150 yet. You have one person, you have two, two people on your team. The beauty of this company is it's innovative. It's always changing. So think about this. When I first started in my business eight and a half years ago, 
you know, I wanted success. I wanted the lifestyle. I wanted to be popping bottles in the club. I wanted to be traveling. I wanted to be helping my parents. I wanted to be doing all these different things, but I couldn't. So I said, you know what, even though I want that so bad, I need to, you know, harness celebration right now, not only for myself, but for my team too, because people want that type of of gratification if you're building a customer base if you are building a business a a a a a, a affiliate marketing base if you're getting customers and getting affiliates onto this platform okay celebrate the wins celebrate the small wins okay i remember in my in my old condo back in uh it was like delray beach i was paying a couple hundred dollars a month for this condo after i got fired from my job i was living there and i remember i had a couple people over to my condo and in that first business, they recruited one person and we, we bought, I bought the cheapest bottle of champagne at the store. Okay. And we popped that champagne bottle. Okay. When business first started, you know, I, I was, I, it was, it was a start, right? It was a start. So, but it was, a th it was the activity. It was the celebration, right? Before you can celebrate big time, you must be able to celebrate your small wins celebrate your small wins for yourself and your team. doesn't matter if it's a, a night at the club. It doesn't need to be that. It can just be the small wins and doing the small things, you know, at your house with your team. Okay. Celebrate when somebody new joins the business, celebrate uh, two and three. Someone gets two and three, really, really celebrate that. All right. Celebrate everything. Again, people want to feel appreciated. You got you guys understand too, even at platinum 150, or even let's just say platinum 600. If your goal is 12 customers, P600, the majority of this industry does not make that type of income. If you've been in network marketing before, you understand I'm not down in other companies, but I'm just being straight up truthful and honest with you guys. The majority of the industry does not make that type of income residually every month paid weekly for that type of customer volume for 12 customers in your business. It doesn't happen. So if, if you're at P600, if your team's hit almost at P600, if your people are have that goal for P600, be like, you know what? When you hit P600, we are going to celebrate you like your chairman because everybody before you was at P600. Everybody before you was at P150. I used to have zero people on my team when I, the day I got started. Obviously, I moved quick because slow is not fun for me. Fast is fun, okay? But... You need to understand that celebrate all the wins along your journey and document those wins because two, three, four, five years from now, you're going to be like, wow, remember after that trading session or remember after that recruiting session, we were on the phones, dialing, 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 dialing. You got a, a little win, a little win here, a little win there. Guess what? It added up. Okay. So now we're going to skill sets. Those are some strategies, skill sets. Now, I don't talk to you guys like normal entrepreneurs, wannapreneurs, just network marketers. You're just in this business. I talk to you guys like you're all successful entrepreneurs running a multi-million dollar business, a seven-figure business. So the skill sets are uh, required to be an entrepreneur is first the ability to manage money. And I tell you guys this because before you have capital gains in trading and before you have profits, and residual income coming in. You must understand how to manage this money so you can grow the money, so you can reinvest the money into your team, into your business, into your travel, and not be like, what happened? I made some money, I made some profits, where did it go? Okay, so I wanna tell you guys something in a book that actually inspired me to put this as a skill set is Money Master the Game by Tony Robbins. If you guys like Tony Robbins and appreciate Tony Robbins, drop a two, two, two in the chat box. Okay. Tony Robbins has been a game changing mentor. This book is a little bit bigger. All right. A little bit bigger than your average read. I did not read books in college. I spark noted and did all the websites. I'm telling you guys, I hated reading textbooks, but I will read a book about financial wellness. I'm reading guys, look at this right now. Get this book. If you guys really want something to make you a well-rounded entrepreneur, get this book by Tim Ferriss. He wrote the four hour work week as well, which is amazing. But tools of Titans, tactics, routines, and habits of billionaires, icons, and world-class performers. 
This book is game changing. Okay. We talked about strategies, money management, success, all that. But like I'm telling you guys, these are skill sets. I'm learning skill sets in this book. Motivation is one thing, but you must learn skill sets in order to be sustainable as an entrepreneur for long term. So if you can't manage money, guys, you can't manage a business. All right. So do you, do you know where your money goes each month? Do you live off uh, less than you earn? If the answer to these questions is no, you'll struggle to manage a business as well. You'll struggle to manage a business and you won't be able to teach people the strategy. So they'll be like, I made money and I'd spent it. I made money. And it's gone. Okay. So read that book. I mean, you can go into more details with money master the game. Okay. The ability to relieve stress. We can all agree. Trading can be stressful. Having people tell us no can be stressful. Having uh, uh, different things happen in our life and our business. Listen, we're all human beings. No matter what you think about successful entrepreneurs, chairman 100s, chairman 250s, chairman 500s, they have issues. They have challenges. They have stress. They, guys, everybody's dealing with problems and issues and being told no and business issues and people leaving their business and people coming and going, right? So understand this thing has helped me really over the last couple years in order to manage stress and stay around when other people quit i've seen people make seven figures six figures first of all not manage money lose it all strategy number one. Second of all lose money or not do the right things in their business stress out and quit the industry quit business give up on entrepreneurship and leave and say adios the same for me okay so if you allow yourself to get frustrated and upset by setbacks which we all will have you'll struggle as an entrepreneur so learn how to use stress to your benefits, okay? Whether it's meditation, mental breaks, exercise, et cetera, all right? And that's gonna help you be a sustainable entrepreneur, not a burnt out entrepreneur trader, not someone that, you know, feels like they can only do things one day or two days, two days out of the week, not a sometime entrepreneur or wantapreneur. Learn how to deal with life, deal with job, deal with your work, deal with relationships, while building this business, but take time. Okay, take time. I want to tell you guys something really simple. It might sound too simple. Take one, take one breath or two breaths each and every day, like deep breaths, and just sit there and be in the present, in the moment. There might be a, a trades going on. There might be a conference calls. There might be work. There might be you know a hu husband, wife, dinner. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Take one or two deep breaths and be in the moment and get back and get focused and recalibrate. You know, Tony Robbins teaches all these things, all these strategies, all these methods and what he does to prime himself every morning, a cold plunge and deep rest, like 30 sets and all these things. You don't need to do that if you don't want, but start to be able to relieve your stress because it, it's going to help you stay around for a long, a long time as an entrepreneur because an entrepreneur thrives off of stress. Grant Cardone, if you guys have heard of him, he says stress literally pushes me Every single day, I thrive off of stress because stress stress gets me gets me going. I might be nervous, but guess what? I'm still going. Okay. Next slide. Skill number three: the ability to be productive. Many people are busy. You and I both know that. Many people stay busy. Yo, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm scrolling Facebook. I'm scrolling YouTube. I'm scrolling this. I'm scrolling that. Busy is not productive. I want you all to focus on income producing activities okay so there's no there's no right way to be productive that works for everyone learn about your peak energy times your routines and the product uh, productivity tools that work for you in order to create your own plan for success so for me product productivity starts okay with my schedule all right Com i complete the most difficult things early in the day a difficult thing for you might be making your list for the day of new people to talk to. It might be, um, you know, really uh, uh, reading that book and taking notes. That might be difficult for you to really sit down, do the most difficult thing. Cause I guarantee if you do this, listen to me closely. If you do the most difficult thing early in the day, every single day and make it a routine, every, your entire rest of your day is gonna be easy. And guess what happens? It starts to become a routine and a schedule, right? Where it, it becomes normal. It literally becomes normal for you. I want to tell you, if you do not go to the gym right now, okay, but you decide to go tomorrow, 9 a.m., 
And the next day, 9 a.m., 9 a.m., 9 a.m., 9 a.m., 9 a.m. There's gonna get you're 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 going to get to a point where you say, I have to go to the gym this morning. I have tomorrow morning, I have to go to the gym. You're gonna wake up and it's gonna become a routine, a routine, a habit, a routine, a routine. Like if you have a trading webinar you hop on and you schedule it, it's gonna be routine, a routine, a routine. So get into these habits and again try to do the most difficult task early in the morning as soon as you wake up. And again, if that difficult task is again making your list from the night before do it do it okay and push yourself even when you don't feel like it if you can do that like i was reading this book earlier today and i didn't want to read anymore i was kind of like ah i just don't feel like reading anymore right i pushed myself to read one more chapter i know i know it does not sound like a lot but again it's, it's reconditioning your mind from giving up your mind is trying to protect you it's trying to have you be comfortable it's trying to have you be safe Okay, so when you're analyzing the markets, for example, mark up another trade. Yes, there's sometimes we got to step back from investing, step back from the charts, step back from recruiting, but get hop on another conference call, mark the chart up again. Okay, look for another trade entry, like do something to push yourself when you do not feel like it. That's the first step to reconditioning your mindset of a lazy wannapreneur to a productive entrepreneur. Okay. Number four skill set, the ability to make entrepreneur friends. I know we've heard it. I know you've been told time and time and time and time again. Okay. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who do you want to be? Who's in your phone book? Who's your favorites in your phone book? Okay. Improve your odds of success by finding entrepreneur friends who will be able to understand your, your struggle and give you much needed insight. Okay. I want to show you guys this um, let me, let me show you guys this picture right here. My freaking phone. I got this new phone. It's not working. All right. So come on, iPhone 11. What are you doing? All right. Watch this. Bill and Warren Buffett. This fires me up so much guys. Scotty Huss. I love you. My brother, Scotty Huss is on here. His team's on here. Chairman 25, making his way to chairman 50. This dude is a model of success. I want to tell you guys that. Two years ago, no success in the industry. He's texting me right now saying, I got my team on here. We're all taking notes and we're all learning. I appreciate you, my brother. You are a model for success, okay? But look, look at this, guys. I want to show you guys this. Search this on Google. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates on a private jet. Warren Buffett, Bill Gates on a private jet. Now picture yourself. Wait, hold on. Let me try to find. Oh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. You put put this as your screensaver. I don't know. Put it, put it as your screensaver. Why not? Let me let me get this on my phone because it, it'll come out a little better. Okay, here it is. Boom. Check this out. Now picture yourself. I want you guys to envision yourself sitting on the couch on that side, right? Right there. You're sitting on that couch on that side, right? You're sitting on the couch on that side. Think about your association. Think about the conversations that you'd be in. Think about the nuggets that you would, that you would take place in hearing. You are destined to be a billionaire if you're sitting on that couch. They're flying around somewhere in the world, you know, around in the sky. They're really not that far from either of us, right? From any of us, right? Oh, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Not, they're not far, a couple thousand miles, 10,000, whatever. They're flying on a private jet and, we, and you can be right there in that spot right there. What type of conversations would you be hearing? What type of information would you be hearing? Eventually, I guarantee, if you hung out with them enough, you would be a billionaire. I'm not like gonna guarantee anything, but I'm just stating that you are who you hang around with. So I always picture myself being around People like that. If I was in that seat, listening to conversations they were they were talking about, I would be there eventually. I would be in their position eventually. So so coming down to earth a little bit, all right? Because we dream big. Hopefully, we're all around Bill Gates and Warren Buffett one day and, and around their presence in person. But think about this. Imagine if you got around traders more often. 
Imagine at events if you truly were not scared and frightened of people and you became somebody that said, you know what, I'm going to go up and I'm going to learn from this person. I need advice. I'm going to make a quick video, a video with this person. I'm going to learn and I'm going to engage. I'm going to let them know who I am. And I'm going to try to catch a nugget and get some advice. Now, I know Scotty Huss uh, at one of the events, I believe after or whatever at the hotel, he, he met Ty Lopez and was learning from Ty Lopez. And he's like, Ty, you have what I want. I need to learn what you are spitting, what you are throwing at me. I need to, I need to take this information in because you, what you teach is going to rub off on me. Guaranteed. Sooner or later, wh what you have how you walk, how you talk, what you do, your persona, your finances, they're going to rub off on me because I'm going to be in your step. I'm going to be in con con congruent with your mindset and your vision. So if you, again, you hang around traders, you will eventually make the trader income. If you hang around chairman and get close, that income will rub off on you. If you hang out with successful entrepreneurs, all right, that will rub off on you. There's no if, ands, or buts. I've studied entrepreneurs the last eight and a half, nine years. I've seen success for myself. And I've seen people around me. And everybody that was attached to somebody else and working closely in step, in step, in step, listening, learning, following, applying, listening, learning, following, applying, that success eventually became theirs. So people ask, why every week I need, do I need to get on these, these mentorship calls? Why, why, do, why do I need to attend the events? Because you want what somebody else has. And you need to get around those people enough because you're not around a Jason Brown or a David M. Onitier or, you know, a, a Chris Terry every single day, 24 seven. So the time that you do have with that person, you take the information out. You, so, you, 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 you just accumulate so much. You can go then and apply, 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 apply. So look, look at that on Google, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett on a private jet, making your screen saver and just picture yourself. If I was sitting there. I think I would become their position after enough time. And sometimes you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys have to visualize that in order it to become reality. Okay. Number five, identify, uh, uh, the ability to identify, you must have the skill set to build, uh, to identify strengths and weaknesses. Now, one of the major things that I realized I was not self-made, there's no self-made. I truly do not believe there's self-made. If you win the lottery ticket or you do the scratch off and you make a billion dollars or hundred million, whatever. Okay, cool. You're self scratched. You got, you got some scratch off and you made some money, right? But you're not self made. Okay. I was on star Island with Diddy. All right. Most of you guys know P Diddy um, owner, you know, uh, owns equity share in Ciroc uh, bad boy has a bunch of other investments. And I was sitting with him at his house in star Island and he's worth like $900 million right now. One of his accountability partners is Jay-Z by the way, which you know, he hit a billion dollars first, freaking insane. But he said this to the group that was there. There was a small group of entrepreneurs, musicians, and investors sitting, sitting around the table uh, in back uh, by his pool area. And it's a crazy, crazy island. I mean, it's, it's mind blowing. It feels like it's not, not, even, not even real. It's like surreal. But anyways, so we're sitting there and he's saying, listen, I want you all young entrepreneurs, investors, and musicians to understand that this success that you see was not because of me. Yes, it was because of me, but listen, look at my team. Look at the people around me. Okay. They make up for my weaknesses. There's a lot of things that I do not do. Do not try to do it all. Okay. He said, do not try to do everything. He says, my success is made up of people who, who compliment my weaknesses. What I'm not so good at, they'll come in and they're great at. So I'll put them in that position to be great. But meanwhile, he said, I'm working on my weaknesses like all of you should as well. Never say, oh, I'm, I'm not good at this. I'm not going to work on this. Work on these things. Hearing that from somebody like that, $900 million, I was like, damn, dang. You see this person, you think he's self-made. He has energy. He's this, he's that. A musician and starting businesses. I'm like, man, that person really put his team on his back. I mean, like he, he is a byproduct of the people of around, around him and the people that are strengthening his weaknesses. So as an entrepreneur, you do, not, you do not need to be perfect at everything. You do, however, need to understand where you're strong and where you're weak. Find people that can make up for your weaknesses. Find accountability partners and find people that are willing to put in the work 
and, and, and put in the skills maybe where you're not so good at. So for example, if you're really good at recruiting and you have your business partner, he's smooth with the presentation, he's done it a bunch of times and you're trying to start and really explode your market, come together, recruit together, you teach him how to recruit, all right? He does the presentation because he's smooth at it and can do it well and you're trying to increase the market. So you guys, you ladies, gentlemen, you know, you're holding each other up with your skill sets. So find people, maybe someone's good at marketing, someone's good at some flyers, somebody, you know, making flyers, okay? I know, especially with like Bryce Thompson, his entire team, shout out to them. You know, we're, we're talking and I, I, I uh, got to know his, 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 his flyer guy, the guy that does his flyers and the video production. I'm like, oh, Bryce, you have a system in place. People are like, oh, how did Bryce do it? How did he do it? How did he do it? He has a system in place. He has people that make up or maybe it's weaknesses. Maybe Bryce's not good at flyers or doing the video stuff or doing this, but he can do his skills, what he's good at, and other people make up for that, okay? So find people that can make up for your weaknesses while working on your weaknesses. Okay, six, the ability to, effect, to recruit effectively, uh, I'm sorry, recruit effective people and also develop people into success, okay? Build the skill set, okay, and the ability to recruit effective people and also develop people into success, all right? Having great people on your team will give you access to new strengths. If you cannot recruit effective people though, you must take on the coach mentality to help people break through. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. And you know, this, this um, stuck out to me more than ever with one of the new leaders that we brought on board from Latin America. And this gentleman's hitting Chairman X pretty soon. Chairman, you guys will see, all right? Multi Chairman 50, okay, keep, 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 it, keep it quiet, being announced. Anyways, he's hitting it, it's being announced, but he told me something while we're traveling uh, through Portugal, and he said, you know, Julian, what I do is obviously I recruit, 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 recruit and go after hitters, go after people who understand business, entrepreneurship, investing, success. I go after those people at the same time, though. Don't, don't get it twisted. All right. He said that in Spanish. I don't know the, the definition for twisted in Spanish. But he said, listen, do, you know, don't get it local, man. Don't get it crazy, bro. Listen, you got to find a spark in people's eye and go after that. When you see a spark in someone's eye, you need to be that coach that they do not have. You need to be that coach that they need. Okay. Most people in school need a, a, a professor or a teacher guiding them or a counselor. We remember that in school, right? A counselor. Okay, where well, they counseled us, they, they, they got me personally out of a lot of trouble. They were guiding me and coaching me through, you know, high school when I was in high school and got me and kept me out of trouble. Without that guidance, I would have probably dropped out of high school, kicked out of college, but at least I made it through high school, right? So it's like, I had a coach. Be that person that somebody needs. Be that coach for someone that needs it. If you see a spark in, in, in somebody's eye, you gotta be that coach though. Okay, you can read a lot of books about coaches and mentors and leaders. Uh, let, me, let me find this book one second. Okay, John Maxwell, Power of Leadership. The Power of Your Leadership, guys, by John Maxwell. Amazing, amazing guy, does a lot of books on leadership. And the thing about a leader is he sees things in other people before they see things in themselves. Okay, so you must see a spark in somebody's eye if they're talking about, I'm, I can't wait to start trading. I can't wait to start building this business. I'm excited. Guide me, teach me, coach me. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work. I'm ready, I'm ready to put in the time. Coach that person. Teach that person. Develop that person. He says he, Herman Costello, the new leader, that's Chairman 50, just in the cuffs of Chairman 50, he said, literally, I look at a new person. I don't care if somebody came in my business and then went out of my business. I'll look at a new person in their eye and say, let me teach them my system. Let me teach them how to recruit, how to present, the mindset, personal development. Let me teach them these things that's going to help them hit a six and seven figure income. And maybe for you, you've never re reached six or seven figures yet. So you can only teach what you've done, but you can still teach a new person a system to success and you can guide them. And it's like, you know, holding them and mentoring them and then saying, hey, listen, pigeon, like, I mean, you know, dove, you got to go like fly. Let's, 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 let's get it. Let's work. 
all this training, all this mentoring, it's time to go, right? So look for the spark in your people's eye. And if you're too self-aware, you're in doubt of your abilities, you're going through things in your own mind, I guarantee that's a first step to failure because you will never be able to see other person, somebody else's success, somebody else's potential, what other people have in them, because you'll always be dealing with what you have or do not have in yourself. Some of you guys will get that later. Okay. Some of you guys will never get that, but some of you guys are so focused on what you do or do not have in yourself. You'll never ever see potential in somebody else to be their coach and let their spark shine and develop them. Okay. And say, Hey, listen, I want to bring your potential out. That's, that's, that's leadership. If you truly want to make six, multiple six, seven figures, if you want 25,000 hitting your uh, account every week, if you want hundred thousand dollars hitting your pay quicker, your scroll every single week, if you want the financial, if you help enough people get what they want, you will get what you, you will get what you want. Okay. If you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. If you be a coach to enough people, you will eventually get what you want. Period. Okay. So seven, all right. The ability to train new members, bring, develop that skill set. When you bring on someone new, proper guidance and training, it goes with the last slide of coaching. All right. Commit to the member. All right. Skill level eight, the ability to connect via social media. Okay. The ability to connect via, via social media. All right. So social media network, uh, networking is huge. Again, I, I had a whole seven figure mentorship call or a chairman mentorship call just on social media, uh, which I'm, I'm going to put that on YouTube actually pretty soon. I just recorded it. So if you guys want it, follow me on Instagram at my name, Julian Kushner, K-U-S-C-H-N-E-R. You guys, J Julian Kushner, all right? Just, if you can't spell it, find it, all right? Because I'm telling you guys, all right, I'm about to drop this training for you guys. And it's going to be amazing for social media. And through social media, I've literally recruited thousands of people through social networking. A new platform, I'll tell you guys, that I was sleeping on. I was sleeping on this platform was LinkedIn. For, I think it's like five bucks a month, I get access. I'm telling you guys something I haven't told everybody before. I've never even gone over LinkedIn before, but I've, I've tested it, tested, tested, tested. You could, I, I connected with the CEO of an airlines and messaged him through LinkedIn and he saw my message. I'll be honest, he didn't respond. Okay, or maybe his assistant saw, I don't know, but I'm like, I literally saw him read my message and he looked back at my profile to see who I was, the CEO of an airlines. I'm just telling you guys, in LinkedIn, you can connect with investors, real estate people, entrepreneurs, network marketers, and you can pay a little bit extra to be able to message high level people that you normally would not have access to. It's nuts. LinkedIn is a crazy platform for going after what I was going through earlier, those effective people, the people that work that will come into your business and be extremely effective or understand entrepreneurship, real estate, success, investing from day one, while you're developing, while you're constantly developing new people, new light, and the, and the people with a shine in their eyes. Okay. So LinkedIn's awesome, but use all the platforms. If you're, if you're like, oh, I don't want to learn the new platforms, use Instagram, use Facebook, use social media to drive customers, to share results, obviously compliance, you know, uh, compliant, compliant results, um, and testimonials on social media to, to, to gain interest. It's all about traction marketing on social media, your personal brand, who, how do people recognize you? Have you taken the time to get a professional photo shoot? If you want to attract other entrepreneurs, other traders, other successful people, go out and change your image a little bit, go out and adjust your image a little bit. Okay. A professional photo shoot. I know Sky did it at his at his uh, condo uh, a couple months ago, and he got these awesome, you know, awesome uh, photos of himself. He got his team those photos too. I'm saying for your people, your traders, do a photo shoot. Increase the brand on social media if you want to attract people on social media as well. We can go over this for hours. I tell people to to, to become dynamic though, while you're building offline have your teams building online, have attraction marketing working in your favor. Okay. Have attraction marketing in your, in your favor. So you're able to, while you're sleeping, maybe somebody in Germany or different countries, seeing your profile, seeing you trade Forex and crypto, seeing your entrepreneur investor, seeing that the value that you share and say, you know what, that person looks like something I want to connect with. Okay. 
So social media is huge. It's been a great leverage point for me. Okay. And nine, uh, the ability to close a sale. Now, a lot of people have issues with that. A lot of people are scared. A lot of people hate rejection. A lot of people feel like everything sales these days. It's kind of true. Um, but people feel, people feel like salesmen is like a, a bad thing, a negative thing. Honestly, guys, let customers know. All right. Letting customers know that you understand their pain is important. All right. Obviously putting that focus on customers, but asking for the sale. All right. Is where entrepreneurs get stuck asking for that sale. All right. You need to relate to somebody. You need to, uh, Hey, listen, I feel you. I felt the same way, but then I found out. All right. I feel you. I feel your struggle. I feel you. I had no money too. I felt the same way. I was broke when I got involved with network marketing, but then I found out that I had in order for things to change. I needed to change in order for things to change. I needed to find a way. Okay. Now, listen, I was in the same position as you. Do you have any more questions? Or are you ready to get started? We're in the same boat, my friend. We're in the same boat. We're in the same boat. Let them know, okay? Ask for the sale. A lot of people are really, really bad at closing the deal and asking for the sale and, and just saying, listen, here, here, here it is, simple. And most of you guys maybe already know this, but let me ask you this question. If you're closing the sale, you know, you're ready to get something started. Listen, on a scale of one to 10, how ready are you to get started tonight? On a scale of one to 10, how ready are you to get started tonight? If they say a zero, they're not, they're not really interested. And some of you guys could disagree and say, hey, that person still could come around. Yeah, give them some time. Don't pressure them. Three months, six months, 12 months later, they might watch what you're doing, watch your posts, watch your social media, watch your energy and join. I've had a lot of people do it. But if they're anything from a one, to a nine, if they're a 10, you get them started. If they're a one through a nine, they have potential. Listen, what questions can I answer to bring you to a 10? So you're ready to start tonight before the next swipe trade, before the next go live session, before the next trailer, before the next opportunity for you to see results in the world's largest markets. What question can I answer for you so you feel comfortable about the system that we have in place? They're a one, bring them up. They're a six, seven, eight. They, they went from a four, they say, oh, and then you ask them the question again. So tonight, how ready are you to start on a scale of one to 10 now? I'm a six. Okay, well, what's holding you back from a 10? Oh, I have this question. Answer, answer all the questions that you can for them on that scale and, and then see if they're ready to start tonight. And if they're truly just holding off, I'm telling you what I did. I can only teach you guys what I did. Let them watch you over time. If they, if they don't get started with you and you ask for the close, ask for the close, tell them one to 10 on a scale, where are you? And they just don't join. Let them watch you. I've had some of my, my most successful business partners watch me three months, six months, and 12 months fans, and people could not not join me. They saw my consistency. They saw I was at events. They saw the videos I was making. They saw all the success, even when I was making very little money in the industry. But they're like, yo, I've been watching you so long. You're so consistent. I hate what I'm doing right now. I'm not interested in what I'm doing right now. I know we talked 12 months ago, but now I'm ready to get started. Okay. So close, learn to close. All right. And just know, okay. If people say not right now. It's not, they don't want to get started. They just need some time. Don't pressure it. Let it, let it happen. All right. And number 10 skill set. All right. I appreciate everyone's time tonight. I'm trying to wrap this up, give you guys all these nuggets so you guys can get to work, get to work, get to trading, get to whatever you're doing your evening. Uh, but number 10, the ability to deal with failure. Okay. An entrepreneur understand there's going to be failure. There's going to be losses. I understood that about trading, investing. I've lost you know, over a hundred thousand dollars in investments alone outside of this industry. I've lost money trading. I lost money, right? I lost people. I lost friends that were my business partners that were my best friends that did not want to stay involved with this industry with me. I took an L, but that didn't hold me back. That, that I took an L, but, was, but it was only temporary. Okay. So you need to be able to uh, deal with failure. No entrepreneur has a straight line to success. All right. Knowing how to deal with the ups and downs is essential. All right. Remember guys, every successful entrepreneur out there, every person failed dozens of times. So failure isn't the end. It's just a data point on the way to success. All right. And, and the last skill set is the desire to improve the world. 
All right. In the end, the best and most enduring motivation is to make a positive change in the world. Facts. We all want to make a change around the world. If you don't want to make a change in other people's lives in different countries around the world, you're in this, you're in the wrong business. If you only want to make a change in your life with your success, do something else. You can work a job, you can work 40 hours a week, you can get paid from the work that you do, and 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 you can make a boss rich and you can get paid your your salary. I'm just being honest, and you can change your you know, you, you can stay the same. You know, you can't even change your environment. You can stay the same in your environment. But if you want to make a positive change in the world, you got to step out of the BS. All right. You got to have the desire to change something other than your, your own situation. Okay. So guys, understand last but not least, when you focus on your business and make success a top priority, you'll find yourself ready to weather any storm to meet your goals. Being an entrepreneur is a big task, but all these skills can be learned. All right. If you notice you're lacking one of the things I went over, Go and get it. Go and learn it. Go and make it happen. Again, every entrepreneur that came before you figured it out along the way. Found a way to become successful. Found a way to learn how to present. Found a way to learn how to so, uh, learn. Found a way to learn social media. Found a way to get out of their comfort zone. Found a way to do public speaking. Public speaking scared the crap out of me. I, I, for all of you guys that do not know, I dropped out of public speaking class. I hate speaking in front of people. Now I speak. From a level of passion all right you flow differently all right when you're doing something that you love okay but everything everything that i went over can be learned to the compound effect i guarantee you guys you read these two books your, your life's going to change okay i had a gentleman in a previous company i helped actually make about a thirty thousand dollar a month residual income i gave him think and go rich gopro and how to win friends and influence people. I gave him those three books when he got when he got started. He read them in a month. He read them in one month, and he compressed his time frame where within that year he was making multiple five figures per month residual income, hitting every single month. He's like, "Yo, due to you giving me those books, I learned things that I did not already know. I increased my mentality." I had these little light bulbs go off in my head and I just said, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I said, now I know what I didn't know. I now know what I didn't know. And now I have a reason to work and a reason to grind. A lot of people never put in the work because they don't know what they don't know. And they stay in this state of confusion. Why, why would I go hard? Why would I see success? How can I do it? How, am I good enough? Am I good enough to see success? Will I ever be able to have financial freedom? You know, they have all these doubts and questions that when you, sometimes you give them an audio, you give them a book, give your team, I guarantee, give your team after this call, your customer, your teammate, invest five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, two bucks, whatever, into an audio or a book for that person. Give that person a book, something that has a spark in their eye, something that tells you they want it, but maybe you haven't done enough for them. Say, thank you, Thanksgiving right? Should be every day. Giving thanks, writing it down and, and giving to your team, giving to your people, giving to your family, right? So give something, could be small, could be an audio book, could be a link, could be you get them a physical book. I got this person three physical books. I, I knew he had potential. I said, my man, read these books. And if you want to see success, read them muy, muy rapido. Very, very fast. Read them very, read them fast. He took notes. He highlighted. He took the most important notes. And that ended up being where he made multiple six figures that year from just learning, 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 learning. Boom. Applied. Boom. Applied. So take that for the team that you have and make sure they learn these skill sets they, they would not have previously understood or known. Okay? Makes, makes a huge difference. All right. So understand a lot of you guys, a lot of people were like, Oh, I want you, you know, I want you to go over tonight. How you hit chairman 100, how you and your business partner ranked up hit chairman 100 with Jonathan Lopez. And I, I want to tell you guys this, if we can do it, you can do it. All right. Results are not typical, but you cannot be typical. You need to be a crazy lunatic entrepreneur, go nuts, go cycle for your dreams and your goals. You need to wake up. I, I tell people this all the time. People ask me, you need to wake up. I appreciate all of you guys. There's like a ton of people still on here. There's a ton of people that stayed on. I appreciate you guys' attention. I hope you guys are taking notes. But you must 
have this business running through your veins. You must have success running through your veins. In the moment you wake up, you must feel whose life can I change today? It's like this. If you ever get to a point where you're not passionate about your business, you have a blood clot, I guess you could say, you know, your circulation is cut off. In order to become successful in business, blood must be freely uh, flowing through your body. Flowing, 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 your circulation. I have this little foot thing that massages my foot and it puts heat into my body and it circulates more blood, more blood and oxygen up to my brain, right? Whatever, it's this thing. But if I do that to increase my circulation, to increase my energy, to keep my blood flowing rapid, just like that in your business, what's exciting you every morning? What's getting you, you know, fire up the stamp a little bit later? Wake up for a trading session at the crazy hours of the night. Talk to one more person for that business. You know, really bring out that passion in your voice so you can actually change the world, change your life, change somebody else's life. You know, how is that blood flowing through you and how is your business flowing through you? Is it, is it cut off? Is the circulation cut off or is it flowing? And if it is cut off, if your circulation in this business is cut off, how are you going to unclog it? How are you going to let this business flow again? Okay. So I want you guys to really figure that out. Figure out how you can have this business flowing through your body day and night, day and night, entrepreneurship flowing through your body, uh, body compounding interest. If you can't directly attach yourself, I know not everyone can attach himself to, oh, let me, let me let this business flow through them because they, they haven't been in the business long enough or the business is not in them. But can you allow compounding interest to flow through you? Knowing that in 10, 15, 20, 30 years, you could literally be financially free doing whatever you want if you apply the principles that are taught here with I Am Mastery Academy. If you learn entrepreneurship, you can lead generational wealth to your kids, kids, kids. You can be that person that your kids, 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 kids talked about, right? So what's going to get you above and beyond? What's going to get your blood flowing? So you wake up every morning hitting it. You go to bed, you know, and, and you're feeling, you're grateful, right? And every day, and yes, things happen every day. BS happens. Things are going to happen. Job's going to happen. A, a, a crappy boss is going to happen. You know, breakups are going to happen. All these things are going to happen. Traffic lights are going to happen. You know, long traffic lights that like, you're like, what is going on? Beep, beep, beep is going to happen. Especially if you, if you live in New York City, it's going to happen. I've been there. Or in Miami traffic or in LA traffic. It's all going to happen. But how can you just say, you know what? Let me find it. Let me find it in me so I can get this blood flowing, circulating. Just like, you know, I, I can get my business flowing just like my blood's flowing. Because if your blood stops flowing, what happens to you? You die. If your business stops flowing, if passion stops flowing in your business, what happens to your business? If passion stops flowing for trading, for investing, for compounding interest, for helping yourself and your family, and I'm going on with this, but you guys see where I'm going. I hope you guys truly understand my level of passion. If you talk to any chairman, their level of passion and how this business and helping people flows through them, okay? So, Myself and Jonathan Lopez, we stay consistent on recruiting and following up. We're consistent. Chris Terry called me on the phone after 12 months. We were at Chairman 50. Not a bad place to be stuck for about a year. Not, 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 we're not complaining. But he said, Julian, why are you still at Chairman 50? Why are you still at Chairman 50? I said, Chris, dude, we got to freaking get to work. You got to get on more calls, more calls, more calls, get more people in front of Alex more, get more people in front of you, get more people to events, get more people here, get more people. We, we need to do more calls, more calls, more Zooms, more, 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 more. We, we need to go beast mode. Okay. So we stay consistent on recruiting and following up. Um, and, you know, we are able to pass through that chairman 50, but we're like, what is going on? Chris said that we're like, you know what? Let, let's go beast mode. So I asked you guys all that question tonight. Just like Chris asked me, you know, what Chris told me comes through me and to you. All right. What we say, what I say is not a, a byproduct. Of, it's, it's not just me. It's from my mentors, me passing stuff on to you guys through my mentors who have taught me. But I want to tell you guys something like what's why are you why are you still stuck where you're at? Why are you stuck on trading? Why are you stuck at that certain rank? Why have you not gone to the next level? 
What do you need to do? What decision do you need, do you need to make right now to overcome and get to the next level? How, how many more events do you need to do? How many more calls do you need to do? How many more people do you need to talk to every single day? How many more people, how many more, uh, you know, go lives do you need to get on to truly understand how to dominate the markets? What do you need to do to level up and why have you not done it yet? There's people counting on you. There are literally people counting on you to put in that work, sacrifice and commit, okay? Understand our focus at the end of the day was to focus on sorting and keep it moving. Sort, keep it moving. Are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out? Are you in or are you out for the last 12 months, nonstop, in or out, in or out? People still watched us. People still saw what we were doing, but we're like, you know what? We're going to go through numbers, numbers, numbers. Never got stuck on no's or people leaving the business. There's been a lot of people that left, people that came. We never got stuck on no's. Never got stuck on people leaving the business. To Chairman 100, from Chairman 50 to Chairman 100, never got stuck. Boom, day and night, day and night. Stay consistent, 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 consistent. Okay. And that is what it's going to take. Okay. It's going to take, it's going to, it's going to take you making that commitment and saying, you know what? Julian used to be an IBO, signed up a little bit over two years ago. Jason Brown used to be an IBO. David Imanitier used to be an IBO. Ivan Tappy used to be an IBO. Matt Rosa, an IBO. Nobody in their business has got to work. Blood, their business was flowing through them. Passion was flowing through them like blood was flowing through them, okay? So actually, I want to show something to you guys. And this has never been shown before. Um, this is my story. It's a little bit, it, it's visual. I told you guys in, in, in the beginning. Um, so I want you guys to take this and I'm going to show you guys this to let you know how you can create your story. All right. And I'm just showing you guys this because a lot of people have asked to see this. And I think you guys might like this. Let, let me see you guys. So, so who, who's still on? There's a lot of people still on. If I gave you guys some value so far, Drop a one, one, one if you are still with me right now. If you're still with me right now, before I show you this video, drop a one, one, one. Let me see who is still on here, who is still focused. All right, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people. You guys are, you guys are breaking, breaking Zoom tonight. All right, let me see here. So let me show you guys this. Again, this is a video. My story had it created by a great videographer. And I want to showcase this to you guys, to let you know that no matter what you're going through, anything's possible. No, no matter what you've gone through, anything's possible. And create your story. Create your story. In 2020, you will create your story, your success story made up of failure, struggle, challenges. So I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to show this, okay, if I can get this screen share going on okay where is this where is this where is this okay let me see here <clears throat> okay second guys let me try that okay let me see here Okay, if you guys if you guys can hear the beginning, just type I can hear it. If if you guys can hear this. Can you guys hear the wave? I'm, I'm just wondering. Can you guys hear? Yes. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, now again, okay, just watch this and think how you're gonna create your story in 2020. Just, just think about it. You're going to create your story, guys, in 2020. This next year is your year. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to show this video. A bunch of people messaging me saying, stop freaking talking, Julian. Show this. All right, let me show this, show this, show this. Boom. Okay, actually, I'm already sharing this, I believe. Okay, wait. Let me turn off my video real quick so you can see the whole thing. Okay. Boom. He's like, just hit play. Okay. All right. All right. It's lit. All right. Let's go. Hey, 
I just want to say, I want to end with this. It's, it's worth it. It's worth it. I showed that to you guys to let you know that anything is possible. It's not about the, the money, the lifestyle, the car. It's about freedom. It's about accomplishing your goal. It's about putting in the work. It's about giving your parents what they deserve, giving yourself what you deserve by the work that you put in because you put the work in, you deserve it. So I appreciate you guys, the link, I'm gonna be posting that up. I wanna show you guys that here because you've taken your time out and this is about, again, creating your story. Anything the chairmen can do to help you succeed, they're here to help you do, ask for it. Anything the traders can help you do to succeed, they're here to help you succeed, ask for it, okay? Some people wanna succeed, but listen, some of us, some chairmen, some leaders want you to succeed more than you want yourself to succeed. All right. So 2020 is your year. Gear up, get ready. You have the strategy, you have the skill set. Whatever you guys need, reach out and ask for it. Okay. So I appreciate you guys. I love you. Have a great evening, Sunday night, and let's dominate this week. Let's end 2019 with a bang and go into 2020 and get what you deserve. Take care, guys.